Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to yet another Stay Fishy Friday. You know, mm. favorite host here. The best day of the week. Favorite host? <laughs> you hear this kid? He comes in once a week and sits down and says, I'm the favorite. <laughs> um, this is the this is our favorite day of the week. We love, I love this, you know. I get visited by my son, which he's never here during the week no more. You know, he comes over at night and, and helps feed the fish for like 15 minutes and he's gone. You guys think he's here all the time. No, he's, I never see him. So I get to see him on my Fridays and I get to hang out with you guys. The is an hour a night. Sometimes it's two, sometimes three. If I'm lucky, I'm out of here in like 40 mi minutes. Do you see me during this time? Um, I, I see know. you, you in passing sleeping. while I'm doing something, while you're doing something. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so um, how about we do the, uh, oh, what's the word of the night? Someone said no sound. There is sound. There is sound. You know, turn your train. sound up. Restart something. I'm down on the restart of sound. Oh. <laughs> restart the sound. <laughs> uh. My bad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, Josh, or, or the Kentucky Fish and Tank Rescue says, Josh, you're definitely in the top two best hosts. <laughs> Love you, JP Merlo. <laughs> you're the man. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the beginning. Even my, my girl just came in and said, 15 mi minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you got to love her. <laughs> She's got the right amount of attitude, a little bit of sassiness. <laughs> She's uh she's she make you laugh. She was supposed to be on that this week and how come she didn't show up? Because I told her I I forgot. She's like, oh wait, I got something to do, and she's at home trying to paint the nursery. Mm. So I so I you gave her a paint pass. the nursery any other day. This is stay busy Friday. She only this is has where we get to days hang out. of the week that she has off work, and once she starts painting, you got got to finish the whole. How week. long until she's not working no more? Uh, up until she has a baby. Basically, so when her belly gets the size of my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you to all the mods that made it here tonight. I appreciate it. Even AZ Fish Room, he said he had to work late, but he made it here on time. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Hi, Raheem. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. So we got 155 so far. What's that? Oh, people? People here, yeah. Well, let's start the Tracy update. Let me switch this background over here to the Tracy slideshow. There she is. Look at her. Little sweetheart. She's always working. She's so tiny. She's always helping me out. She's always working. Well, you guys don't understand. She had narcolepsy, okay? There it is at Josh's graduation. It's Crispy and Tracy. Um... She had narcolepsy, so basically she had to be supervised. She couldn't be left alone. She couldn't drive, all that kind of stuff. Well, at our at our last house, I was like, okay, kids, watch mom, and I'm going out, and I went outside, and I mowed the lawn. Well, I'm mowing the lawn, and then the kids come running out. They're like 5 and 12 or 5 and 10 or something, and they come running out. Dad, 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 mom fell down the stairs. So I go running inside. And there's just blood everywhere. She came out of the bathroom upstairs and then turned right, took one step, and then don't remember nothing. She went to sleep. And she fell down the stairs. And then let me see your leg up here, Josh. Any leg. This bone right here was, yeah, right here was sticking out of the skin. Um, it was, it broke here and it's sticking out of the skin. And there was blood all over the landing. I took a towel, I wrapped her leg, I picked her up, and we're off to the hospital we went. So Tracy always had to stay near me and with me. So when I was working, she she was by me. So she'd hand me things, she'd help me out, she'd do things, and I can keep an eye on her that way. And that's how we lived the last, I don't know, 15 years of our lives. She was always by my side because I had to watch her. And, you know, we got into it a couple times because she'd walk away to go to the bathroom. You can't just walk away. you got to tell me. You know, and, and some people would be like, oh, well, that's, you know, you're overbearing her. You, you, you. No, I had to watch her. 
she would at any time just fall out and boom. She, I mean, she's walking and she falls out on the cement floor and she smacked her face on the ground. You know, she was a, 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 a risk, you know. So when she'd go to the bathroom, I'd have to stop what I'm doing and take her to the bathroom. So if the, for the people that don't understand, that's what I had to do. And I don't care about any attitudes or, or stuff that I, 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 you know, told her what to do or how to do it or what. I had to watch her. So she didn't hurt herself because this narcolepsy was bad. Now they give you narcolepsy medicine called uh, Provigil. And it's, it's the, the most you're supposed to have per day is 200 milligrams. Tracy was on a thousand milligrams of Provigil a day to keep her awake. They actually gave her GHB so that at nighttime, it would knock her out more to where she would be more awake during the day. So, I mean, she this is a progressive, she had really hard narcolepsy. I mean, not a, a, a mild case, it was bad. So she always had to stay by my side. And that's why you'll see in some of the videos, I'm like, Tracy, don't stand on that. You know how accident prone you are. You know, come over here, come on, come on, come on, get off of that, okay, got you. That's because I'm protecting her from her own devices, basically. She had narcolepsy bad. And, you know, for the people that don't know about narcolepsy, you know, you see these things on TV and think it's funny. No, this was a serious thing. She'd be walking along and all of a sudden she's asleep in a deep sleep. And then she would just fall and smack her face, smack her arms, you know. I mean, it's, it was bad. I had to always watch her. So I was used to watching her before this whole thing happened. Um, and now, you know, I want you guys to know that this week, she has done so good. She has come back to being so nice and easy to take care of at nighttime. You know, because I got Mara here six days a week during the daytime. And then I'm watching her 16 hours a week or 16 hours a day, six days a week. And then on Sundays, it's... 24 hours a day. So um, my main thing is the sleep between 8 and 10 in the morning. That's the only time I get REM sleep. All night long, I'm getting 10-minute naps. Uh, but I'm watching Tracy. I'm taking care of Tracy. So people, please don't call here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Don't call at 9 o'clock in the morning. Let me sleep. But anyways, other than that, you know, Tracy is doing really good. And, you know, we had a real problem with her coughing and desaturating to where she'd go down to 89 and we had to get up. I had to suction her out you know, like every 15 minutes all night long. I wasn't able to get no sleep. And it was it was taking a toll on me, but because she's on this new mist machine, it's covering her, her lungs with mist. So she's not able to get the oxygen saturation as well. If I turn off the mist machine, she instantly saturates higher. But the problem is she can get a mucus plug, which can kill her, meaning her lungs dry out with mucus and it plugs up the lung. And now she's not putting oxygen into her, her, her bloodlines, you know what I'm saying? Um, mucus plugs are really bad. So that's what this mist machine is for. And the problem is, you know, it lowers the um, oxygen saturation. So we've got a happy in-between going. And as long as her secretions are thin, not super thick, and you know, you want it thin and, and liquidy. As long as you can keep them like that, you can turn the mist machine down and she'll have better oxygenation. But then if she goes thick, you gotta turn it back up. So that's what we've been fighting with for the last two weeks. But uh, you know, this, this last week she's been doing really good and I've been getting more sleep because she's not needing me as much during the night. So my 10 minute naps have turned into 20 minute naps sometimes a half hour, and then, you know, I have to reposition her or, or uh, you know, suction her out. It, it's not as bad as when she first came home from the hospital. It was really bad for like two weeks. She's doing a lot better. And, uh, well, let me see what else. Oh, she got her, we got a vest, and it's a vibrating vest. Basically, it knocks loose all the stuff that's in her lungs that are, like, thick. So she puts this vest on and it's an air-filled vest, and then it vibrates <laughs> on, the, on the front, the, the middle, the sides, the back, and all that. There's different sections. She wears that for 30 minutes a day, 
And boy, does she cough up some white chunky stuff after that. So it's clearing out her lungs, which have been collecting, you know, the foam and all that for however long. It's, and now she's coughing it out and she's getting to be deeper lunged and, and better oxygenation. I don't know how to say the right words or whatever, but that's as best as I can describe it. And, uh, you know, Mara's been doing it twice a day during the daytime. I don't do the 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 uh, vest at night. So, um, so, so you know, we, we're getting it up that way. And then, you know, she's doing good after that. So we got this new vest and it's working great. Um, she's getting more oxygenation now and using more of her lungs now to a deeper point. Um, also, we got her MRI scheduled finally. It's been a year and a half, and we've been fighting them and fighting them, and, you know, the, the insurance wouldn't cover it. And this, we finally got it through. It's coming up in, like, three weeks. Now, the, the happiest thing about the MRI, you're going to see just how much brain activity is there, how many of the ventricles are, like, clogged or not clogged, or if there's, you know, dead brain tissue on the brain stem or anything like that. The MRI will be able to see everything, you know, clearly. But... Dr. Cosmini said after the MRI, we can start her on her, uh, what was that treatment? Zolpidem, Zolpidem treatment. Uh, he wouldn't do it be until he sees the MRI. So uh, the Zolpidem has been known to help out patients with acute brain injury. It actually wakes them up. The first 10 minutes or 20 minutes they take the pill, it wakes them up for about you know 10 minutes. And they can actually understand and, 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 you know, interact more. So I've been dying for this for almost a year now. I've been trying to push this on these doctors. we got to try this, you know. And uh, my doctor or her doctor didn't even hear about it. I had to show him and all the links to all the different um, trials that it's had. So he's willing to try this, but after the MRI. So when we get the MRI in like two, three weeks, then we're going on to the Zolpidem trial, which is, it's got me excited. It's got me, you know, <laughs> anything that would uh, help out. You know, that's all I, I care about, you know, is to get her from where she's at now to the next level. Um, you know, we have now spots of, what do you want to call it? Uh, moments of clarity mm -hmm. that she has where she does close her eyes and, and answer my questions, and then she's gone again. So we, them spots of clarity are very weak. Like, you know, three times a week I catch her in a, a moment of clarity. And, you know, I can ask her questions, stuff like that. She's still not squeezing my hand, but these moment of clarities have, you know, been more frequent lately than they were before. <laughs> but if we can do the Zolpidem and I can actually, you know, communicate with her, oh, my God. That, that just got me excited. So, um, we're, we have lots of exciting things coming up, you know, and she's doing good. We're, she's, you know, she looks, she's a whole lot more attentive. Like, like if I'll talk to Mara in here and then I walk around the bed and I, I, I caress her face, I'm like, okay, baby, I'm going to the kitchen. I'll be back in a little bit. And then, you know, I'll go in the kitchen and I'm talking to Reaper or Josh or something. <laughs> Tracy's like, um, more Mara says, Tracy's like, she looks up out of her eyes and she's looking towards me. She's like trying to follow my voice and she's real attentive that way. So when Mara's talking to like a nurse or a doctor, she's looking at Mara. When I'm talking in the kitchen, she's trying to see up that way to see what, you know, and, and, and be attentive and follow along with us. She's more aware. I mean, she is there. She's like so close to being able to talk back to us, you know, um, so, yeah. And what I mean by that is at all times, not just moments of clarity. So, you know, things have progressed and she is doing really well. Her body is in perfect condition. No bed sores. We got rid of the bed sores she came home with on her heel. We've, we've you know, it, she's doing so good. Even today, I had a, a conversation with Mara and she's like, none of my other patients I've ever worked with for all of these years have ever come back from this and 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 you know they stayed on the ventilator they stayed on all these machines tracy's worked off and she's not on the ventilator and i've seen her in her moments of clarity it's impressed me <laughs> mars mars 
<clears throat> I know what you were going to say. I'll say it for you, big guy. <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you, buddy. Mara said today that she knows for a fact Tracy's coming back because she's never had another client that was this far gone and then has made it this far back. You know, she, they always stayed that far gone and then they ended up dying, you know, of, of a like a, a, a mucus plug in their lungs or something like that or, or something. But she says, <laughs> Marva had me crying today. I, I can't repeat it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's, she gave me such hope today. It's crazy. You know, Tracy is working her way back and is doing these things that other patients haven't. And, you know, I told her Tracy's a, you know, she's, she's been a fighter, you know, and it's, it's been crazy. And, and she has been, she, you know, she's more, her body is more in shape now than it was, you know, a year ago where she was such a frail little thing, you know, she's, she's in such good shape now and her, she's so alert now and she's following us with her eyes and stuff like that. She's like inquisitive she wants to hear what we're saying if we're on this side of the bed she's looking that way we're over here she's looking this way you can tell she's listening in you know i don't know if she understands it but she's definitely listening to them noises you know so i i'm very happy with the outcome of everything that's happened in the last two weeks with tracy and uh i i just can't wait until she can squeeze my hand or or not her head yes or no i just can't wait for that point you know i lost basically my best friend almost two years ago and you know i'm just waiting for her to come back around i'm taking care of her body but you know these moments of clarity gives me hope and now this all this attentiveness she's been has given me so much more hope you know <laughs> oh I, you know, I, I can't keep talking about this. <laughs> Love you guys. Tracy's a, an amazing person. She'll be back. I guarantee it. And, uh, you know, that, that was our Tracy update. How about Someone that? Someone on here said, Mark can't be fooled. <laughs> you know, normally I'd agree with you, but yeah. you know what? There's something. She, she, she exclaimed that it was a boy. All these months. I believe that Mara. <laughs> I bet $100 on Mara. <laughs> and I lost that $100. I still have to go over there and give them their $100. I've got it. I made it. It's in my drawer, you know. So I just, I haven't found time to go over there yet. And I'd like to do a video of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Let's, let's see about your questions and how we can help you guys for the night. Uh, there was a question earlier. Um, someone asked about fairy cichlids and they're breeding like crazy from one pair. Um, that's not a bad thing. That means your water quality is good. Your, your, your tank system is good. You, you know, you've got no problems in there with aggression or nothing like that. You, and they're having getting babies. O over -ran. Um, oh, with babies, mm -hmm. put them up on Ohio fish rescue forum, the 501 C3 free to good home and you will be overrun with people that want them trust me plus you feel good by giving them out to people that just i love those fish i i i had these before and you know i i haven't been able to find them in pet stores and you're like here you go here's 20 of them you know and then you, you they'll follow up with you and they'll send you pictures and videos of how they're doing and you know they're growing up and they're having babies now it's it's a good it's a good happy good feeling so drinking word we've got two options tonight and i'll let you pick we either have baby because baby having a baby no, no, baby or tesla no baby okay. baby <laughs> <laughs> that was done you you said <laughs> done baby <laughs> josh he's having a baby <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's amazing to me because he's my baby he's my little baby boy it's Joshy and so cute, little Joshy. <laughs> you ha haven't even uh, you haven't even heard from Rich Richie yet, ha have you? About what? About Michelle? No. You, you know all that stuff they were supposed to do the uh, IVF or what, whatever. Uh huh. Well, the doctor came back said her her blood work was a lot better than anticipated and she's supposed to be going on this fertility med medication the same oh, nice. one that her, sis her sister went went on and she got pregnant the first time really so yeah you might have an 
None of the words. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might have two. <clears throat> All right. Fishy question from JC. What can I use to make my tank smell less fishy? I'm thinking of a half dose of Melifix just to make it smell good. No, that's no, wrong. See, listen, Mel Melifix and and Pima Fix are are a a very small dose of anything for a very simple sickness. Other than that, you don't use that. We never use it. You know, it's it's you know when we have a bacterial infection. We didn't use Pima Fix. We use a real medicine. Pima Fix is good for uh, the start of a bacterial infection. Or he's just talking about fishy smell in the water because the Melifix smells nice. The he's Melifix don't nice. smell nice. Yeah, it does. It smells minty and kind of weird. It smells nice to me. But no, you never want to use medication just to cover up the smell. The smell's coming from bad water parameters. If you if there's a right, problem, right. Sorry, if there's a problem with the smell of the water, there is a problem with the water and the filtration. You get your filtration right, your water won't smell. People are amazed when they come here, and they're like, I thought this place would smell like a zoo. And it don't smell hardly at all. You know, you, you don't smell nothing unless the heat's on and you just walk in. Then it's kind of enclosed. But when we open the doors and stuff like that, you don't smell nothing. It's, it's you know, we don't even run carbon. Carbon is a band-aid to fix problems, you know? Uh, if your water smells, you run carbon, it takes a smell out of the water. Well, that ain't fixing the problem. That's a band-aid after the fact. If you have your mechanical and your biological filtration running right, your water will be clear and it will be, I mean, you can drink the water, basically. It's, mm -hmm. it's clean, you know? Uh, Jason... Edelman says, how many mermaid swaddle blankets did you guys buy the baby? They're all sold out. So <laughs> you, you guys kept asking about, you know, the baby registry and whatnot. And me and Brittany sat down, mostly Brittany, got everything to, to together. And ever since it's been po posted, you guys have been buying stuff left and right. And I can't th think of you guys. How many swaddles have you gotten? Um, Probably only nine. I got one of each, and however many kinds we put on there, there's quite a few. Uh, there was three of the mer mermaids and the two fish ones. Um, so that's five. Oh, yeah, you got ones. the Dory and you got the Nemo mm -hmm. swaddle blankets. Mm -hmm. You got the mermaids. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you guys are amazing. I mean, there's uh, Josh didn't ask anybody to, to help him with gifts or anything. There was people out there that asked for a registry. Josh put it up for those... Two people that asked, and all of a sudden, like 20 people came in and started mm -hmm. buying things. Actually, and they're stack. amazing gifts. There's, there's a stack of, uh, of stuff that's sitting in the ba baby room waiting to open just so I can thank these pe people on the next but, video. Oh, really? After the last video? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a ton wow. of stuff. Wow. See, people, people want to be involved. They, mm -hmm. they, they watch us daily, and it's like a soap opera, and they get to know us, you know? And they want to be involved. They're part of our family. Well, well they, they get to know me. They just tolerate you. Oh, come on. Come on. I do more. I'm just messing with you. I do more for people <laughs> than you ever wanted to. I'm <laughs> just saying. I, I help everybody out. I try and, and you know, and, and do righteous by everybody. And, and you know, I, I give up my sleep to help people out. And, and this and that, where you're over there, hey, I'm so not speaking there. speaking of that, tomorrow... I want to pick up these tanks for, for you. I've got people coming here to drop off fish. We all take care of that. I can't sleep in? No, well, they're coming at 11. <laughs> oh, then I'm, so I'm from 8 to 10 is all I sleep. As long as that's covered, I'm good. That's why I get my REM sleep. I wake up confused as can be, but that's the two hours a night I get of REM sleep is when the uh, nurse gets here at 8 in the morning from 8.30 until about 10, basically an hour and a half, because it takes me a minute to fall asleep. So yeah, that's the only sleep I get, and you know I get I get bombarded with calls and stuff, and you know I hate turning my phone off, but you know just this morning this guy kept on talking and calling and calling and calling, I was just like stop, this is the only time I get to sleep, please stop. And he said sorry, and you know, but I hate turning my phone off because it could be an emergency or something, you know. I don't know. 
So we have the Kentucky Fish and Tank Rescue, two bucks. It's Tracy definitely has the best support team. She sure does. I mean, Mara was offered a better paying job elsewhere, and she stayed here for this job because she loves Tracy. You know? I, I could have, you know, been like other guys and been like, this is too hard for me, I'm moving on. And, you know, she can sit in, in a nursing home or something, but I didn't. That's your mom. That's she deserves, you know. As long as she's fighting, she deserves me fighting for her. I would want that myself. If I'm fighting, give me more time, you know, to come back. That's all. JC said the water parameters are great. The smell only came since the fish started breeding. It's a recent problem in a three-year-old thing. Okay, you you say the water parameters are great, and everybody says that, but they're not. Because if they were, you'd have no smell. So you think your water parameters are great, but what has happened is now they're starting to breed. They're they're expelling all kinds of different stuff out of their bodies, and then the fish and the babies and all this stuff, and it's it's taken over your bio load, and you need more bio load. You need more filtration, you know. Otherwise, you wouldn't have a smell. This is a factual, and there's nothing we can do to change that. So. Um, up your your filtration take a filter off of another tank that is already seeded and put it on this system and help it out you know um put a, a wet dry on it make a homemade wet dry filter used used um bio media and then you know it'll 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 take it out to where the, the smell is zero and the water is clear because you added more bio load to your system that wasn't handling this before now it's got to, it's going to take a while for the bacteria to build up to handle the new bio load and you're going to have a smell in between uh, you know it's nothing you've done yourself you're not being a bad fish keeper it's just that the fish added a bio load and your system isn't handling it that's all koi it's not a big deal. Are one of the biggest problems with that when koi breed in the springtime oh my god it's so bad smell everything you know that there will be be a slimy just a, a thick a film foam layer on top water. of the whole pond of foam from them splashing and expelling and then you know producing semen over the eggs and all that it's just all in the water it's bad and then the ammonia strike is amazingly high one of the things we, we do here, too, you can take a small tub and skim the whole top of your water and get some of them fish oils out and just drain it straight down. Yeah. If you see anything on your top level of water, if you look sideways at it and there's a greasy oily, do whatever you can to drain that off of there. You know, even if you don't have a drainage system, you can take a bucket and hold it under the water just like a sixteenth of an inch and it'll flow over into there taking all this stuff off the top and you can go and dump that bucket for small tanks. Big tanks, we use, you know, an, an inch and a half hose hooked up to a bottom of a bucket and then we drain it this way while this is sucking out. It's pulling in water off the whole top of like say the 3000 and the 4400. Um, Cause ours, ours do that too sometimes, you know, it's, it's a matter of, we put new fish in there, four new fish, all of a sudden one fish pukes and the whole top is, is nasty and it does smell so we use the bucket and we we drain that off of there um so it's nothing you're doing bad as a fish keeper it's just a matter of your system isn't able to handle that right now and <laughs> the fish don't care they'll they'll, they'll produce the mess for you <laughs> Max Wires has a good question. He says, I was wondering how you discuss with each other what to do and where you put what fish. Sometimes it looks like Big Rich just follows you around with the camera and Josh decides where all the fish go. That's wrong. I tell Josh exactly what to do and he listens. No, we have discussions. You know, Josh is like, I want to put these over here. I'm like, dude, that ain't going to work because of this. And then it's a reason that he didn't even think of. And then he's like, okay, well, can we do this over here and put these over here? I'm like, you know, that's a good idea. You know, we talk it out because it, it is our rescue. It, you know, it's, I am the father, but I don't lay down the law. And here's a nut, another We talk reason. it out. We decide on where things go, and we put them where we want them, both under agreeance. If something goes wrong, there's no fingers to point. 
We can't say you did this because we've done that before. And you know, I've we done did. things, he's done done things, and we've oh, lost he's the her. first one to point a finger and say this was all your fault. <laughs> So no, no, we come to an agreement and then we do it. We talk it over, but we talk over 18 different plans and come up with the best plan now. Okay, that works for every every point or counterpoint that I've come up with and then counterpoint he's come up with. This is the best you know series of events we can come up with. And then we do that. And that's what you guys see on the, the videos. You don't see the hours of back and forth you know i want to put all the the peacock bass in the pond well you can't put them in the pond why well they'll eat all the the cichlids no they won't we'll keep them fed yes they will bass are lightning fast and will eat the cichlids so we can't have no bass in the pond you know people are like why don't you put paku in the pond well because we have lights in there we have power heads and we have pumps and with all that comes electrical wires we cannot put no Paku in there because we would be having problem after problem of, of bitten wires and they're having to fix them. And then I was getting shocked going in the water. And it's just, you got to know the problems with each fish. That's why we also don't have clown knives in the pool pond because they're lightning fast and they will eat all the cichlids. I like having our cichlid ecosystem in there. So the big slow fish. Some people want to say the big dumb guys, but they're not dumb. The big slow fish. In other words, they'd rather sit here and wait for a whole thing of tilapia to be thrown in the water and they swallow it. Then chase all these little cichlids around. You know what I'm saying? So we got all that type of fish in there. The big slow guys. And, you know, the pimas aren't really slow. But as long as they're fed, they don't go after the little cichlids. So there's a minute. Everything you guys see us do, trust me, it's been thought out left, right, up, down, back, and forth. And then we decided this is the best, you know, course of, of, of action. And this is what we're doing. And, you know, that way I can't blame him. He can't blame me. We came to this decision together. Oops, that did not work. Let's get them out of there quick, Josh. And then we, you know, we back it up. It did not work. I can't blame him. He can't blame me. It's something we tried and we thought was the best thing. And that's how we do things here. All right. Um, so I got a few good questions here. Uh, any idea when you're sending the rays back? And if I got contacted yesterday and they said within a month, maybe two at the most, they're going back. So yeah, can't wait. We're just we're just here waiting. So you know, as long as you know they're they're getting their stuff together, they're doing good. They're building their racks, and I saw uh, Kevin White today. He was building all the baby stingray racks, and you know he was on it. You know, so uh, they're not taking their time. They're not wasting our time. We're not taking care of their their fish for no reason. They are doing what they need to do to get their you know stingrays back. So, in other words, they're not taking advantage of us. We are holding them, and they are working. You know, so it's a matter of of, of you know minutes it's it's not not going to be it's not going to be years it's going to be minutes yeah well months all right because they're going to get their retail up and going so they can start importing again and making money and then slowly well no kevin's up. setting up the 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 stingray system you obviously didn't see the video today he's got four tubs there but... well four tubs and then all the baby tubs yeah, and gonna... then he's got more to set up so he's setting that up now in lieu of you know trying to get the storefront set up he's setting up this so rod's working on the storefront kevin's working on the the stingrays he's wanting to get he's got he's got stingrays all over the united states you know he's wanting to gather them all back up and get them in there the problem is he shouldn't do it too quickly because they're starting out with fresh bacteria so they need to add you know 10 rays Two weeks later, another 10 rays. A month later, another 10 rays. You don't want to put all 80, 90 rays together at once. You're going to have ammonia spikes and then deaths and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, give him time. He is working on it is all I can say. He is working on it, so I have no problem. We'll keep watching him because he is showing his effort and he is doing his part. It ain't like he's sitting over there, you know, watching TV, playing video games, and I'm like, ah. 
dude, we're watching you stay. You know? No, he is doing his work, his part. So give him all the time he needs because he is working hard. You don't understand how hard this is, moving this stuff from California all the way to New Jersey and then setting them up and then plumbing it together and then putting up the, the, the uh, filtration and then getting it all built up with bio load. And, you know, oh, geez. Hopefully some of the bio load was still kept from you know, the, the uh, filters. The, uh, what were them, uh, the pool filters that are bio ultimates? The ultimates. Hopefully some of the, the bio load was still alive in some of them and can, can start not from scratch. You know what I'm saying? He's mm -hmm. doing what he needs to do. So I can hold on forever until they're ready. That's cool. You know, but once their, their fish are gone, then our tanks will be a lot cleaner, you know, because we'll have built up the bacteria for the beneficial bacteria for all this amount of fish and you know that and then they take all their rays and now the rest of our tanks will be sparkling clean for like a month i mean crystal sparkling buffered clean because we'll have too much bacteria for the amount of fish we have and i love when that happens your water gets so beautiful it looks like there's not even water in the tank it's just beautiful you know uh so a lot of people having trouble with the stream tonight. Why? Um, people saying cameras out of focus, can't super chat, can't sound this and that. Just I can see impression. the camera right there is perfectly in focus. Tell them all restart their stream. That's a that's a YouTube problem. You can hear us, and then we can see us, and we're 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 perfectly clear. Uh, Dan Liebenberg's asking, when you guys got those black dragon plecos, the owner said you should try and spawn them. Have you tried again no. since? And the answer is no, because someone already beat us to the punch of bleeding, breeding the black dragon. So the race to, to first is kind of, you know, footballing out. It's just a... Well, not only that, our males were smaller than the female. Right. So we have to grow the males up to be able to hold the female. And, you know, we have got them in separate tanks. You know, the bass tank and the, uh, what's the other one? The uh, bass tank and the frontosa tank. The frontosa tank has, um, you know, we got two in the bass tank and one in the frontosa tank. And they're not together where they can breed. We need to grow the males bigger than the females to hold the female to be able to breed. So it's a matter of time. And somebody already beat us. So, but, you know. Once it does happen, we can call up our buddy and tell him, you know, your your dream has come true. It has happened, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what is the best product to use to get rid of ammonia in the water? With water changes? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't believe in using, you know, these different products that claim they'll take ammonia out of the water. I don't do that. That's a waste of money and a waste of time, a waste of effort do water changes and it takes it out of the, the water. Um, the only reason you have ammonia is because your biological filtration is not built up enough. Um, on every cycle, when you, when you put in um, bacteria, it grows, okay? A certain amount grows, uh, anaerobic bacteria grows for, uh, it eats ammonia and turns it into nitrites. So you'll have an ammonia spike until there's enough bacteria to eat the ammonia and bring it down. And now, oh, two weeks later, you're having a nitrite spike. Then a different type of bacteria grows. And until it eats it down and to where it's zero, now the output is nitrates. The only way to get rid of nitrates is through plants or water changes. But your bacterial systems your bacterial filtration will keep your ammonia and your nitrate at zero then that's what you want you do not want high ammonia high nitrates and then trying to buy equipment that that, that will take it out or i'm sorry um medication it, it just don't work that way that amosorb yes does absorb a little bit but it's not going to fix your problem cycle your tanks correctly and then add fish that's the only you know formula that works 
For people who are having uh, blurred screens, just re re refresh. For for me, it looks fine on my phone. And we got people here. Sue Ann says that stream is fine. Yeah. And she says Super Chat is broken. Yes, it is. But that's all right. Like I said in the comments, sorry to everyone. We still answer questions without Super Chat. Of course. You know, we don't. We don't. We're not here for your money. We're here to hang out and have a fun time on Friday nights. And, you know, if we get some super chats, that's great. It helps us out, pay for food and this and that. But if it's broken and it's down, I'm not going to shut the stream down. I mean, we're not like that, you know. But we love hanging out with you guys. Kathy Aponte says, "What, uh, Josh, what is the smallest pleco that won't outgrow a 75-gallon? There are literally... There's a bunch, but you know the most common is a bristle nose. Yeah. You get bristle nose plecos and they 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 have babies and then there's albino bristle nose. I mean they have babies and they stay about four inches and they eat everything, all the algae, the black beard algae, all that kind of stuff, you know. They're the most common. So the, that would be the easiest. The next time you're up here, Kathy, I'll send you to a pet store around us, and they deal with nothing but uh, cichlids and smaller ple plecos, like the exotic kinds. The majority of them will, will stay small for you, too. Who's that? Uh, it's Rift Lake. Why would you send them to Rift Lake? It's because. No, no, he's got the smaller plet the black goes there that other people don't always get. Yeah, well, we're moving on. <laughs> we're having a little sidebar conversation <laughs> here. <laughs> well, the reason being is. Well, if they're stick lids, we'll send them to. Yeah, well, that's why I wasn't going to mention the name. You just happened to ask me. Okay. Hey, wait, Super Chat is working. There it comes. Oh, you guys be lying to us. Bill Smith. The <laughs> super <laughs> chat is working for me. Probably just started. Dad Life of Two, so just wanted to say congrats on the ba baby. Team Tracy, I play OFR at night and let it ride. Hopefully it helps with the ads. Well, thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. awesome. That that does help because, and, and if you can ever, you know, waste a minute and just, uh, you know, put a, a, a some sort of uh reply on there I'll, I'll try and reply because the more replies we have the more the youtube will push us in the algorithm you know so that that helps too but yeah thank you that let them run and, and that that works great uh where the, the kentucky fish and tank rescue is that in west virginia <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry jp i had to do it buddy <laughs> JP is a JP Merlo is a, a buddy of mine. He's a deacon down in, in uh, Kentucky, and I had his name wrong. I called it the West Virginia Fish and Tank Rescue for like what three, four months. Mm -hmm. He kept saying Kentucky, and he he type it out K dash E dash N Kentucky. I think that's why he changed to change his name. He he should have put Kentucky in all caps though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been funny. For two bucks, he said, testing, testing, testing. Now send my money back. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Hey JP, just from the knowledge I, I I you know give to you, that's that's worth your money right there, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh no, that was horrible, right? <laughs> Shalala <laughs> Harrison says, how many cichlids do you think are in the Bellagio? Probably about 400 or so. Yeah, for sure. I mean, now, guys. All them little tiny ba babies in there. Yeah. I want you, the Kentucky Fish Tank and Rescue, I want you guys to look up. Uh, JP, correct me if I'm wrong. It's the, uh, what's it called? The uh, something cave, Mammoth Cave yeah, yeah. Aquarium Expo. He's going to host it this year, like he did last year, and I'm telling you, it was a great show. It's like Aquashella. This show was awesome. We had one of the best times in our lives there. We're going to go there this time, and we're going to bring other YouTubers with us. This was a fun show. The Mammoth Cave Aquarium Expo. Look it up, because J.P. Merlo is a deacon down there, and he runs it. And I'm telling you, the whole city gets involved. You know the the mayor's involved, uh, all the all the people. It's it's a great show. We had such a blast, and um, 
It was like there was a set of rules, but nobody followed them. <laughs> JP is like, you're you're judging this uh, show. We're going to have 10 people up there, and they're going to build a, a tank out of all the free stuff, and the best tank gets to take their tank home. I was like, JP, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't choose. They're all great. Let's give them all a tank. And, and JP's just like, he threw his card. He's like, everyone gets a tank. <laughs> it was a great show. We had such a blast. It was such a, a fun family event. It was amazing. And, you know, the hospitality we saw down there in Kentucky, not West Virginia, it was amazing, you know. So I, we're never going to miss that show. You guys want to see us? Our first show this, this summer is going to be the Mammoth Cave Aquarium Expo down there. So we'll see you guys in Kentucky. <laughs> We've got a few other shows. We're doing the Dallas uh, Aquashella. We're doing the Chicago Aquashella. And then there was another show. What was that one? I don't remember right now, but we are doing, you know, four shows this year, and uh, it's it's going to be fun. He says the Mammoth Cave Aquarium Expo, May seventh and eighth. Yes, get your get your uh, timeline set, get your date set up, get your off day set up for work. May seventh and eighth, we'll be in Kentucky, and we will sign your shirts. We will sign our stickers. We will be there to talk to you and help out any way we can. And then I'm bringing the Nerf gun so that I can take out JP Merlo. <laughs> Bill Smith says, "Can I put a cleaned deer skull in a tank, or should I seal it?" Um, the skull should should be be fine if you want to seal it. That's completely if it's acid you. baked, yeah, you could rinse it first. But other than that, I don't think I don't see a problem with it. Um, where'd it go? Cody it's, Holbert says, "Any tips on raising angelfish eggs? Mine just seem to keep getting eight. So two things: one, you keep waiting, and they'll eventually get get it right." Or two, you can remove them after the eggs are laid and put them into put a them different tank more. and hatch them out that way. Yes. The parents, when they first start you know, doing this, they end up eating them. But after a while, they won't eat them and they will raise them. So if you want to take them out and put them in the tumbler, that's that's up to you. Tumblers are cheap. All it is is an air bubbler through a, a, like a filter type thing, and the eggs are in there, and they get turned by the air. So, you know. Now, uh, let me Someone's see asking, how is Betty the Paku? Well, if you'd have watched my last video, you got an update on all the Pakus. You got right. Paco, Betty, uh, Charlie, but she's doing great. Uh, we answered that one a bunch. I'm not going to read that one. Uh, on the peacock bass, are they still showing breeding behavior? When they started that behavior, did the males get more aggressive? Um, yeah, no. The, there was two males that had the, uh, what's that, a new old hump or something? Yeah. And uh, you can say, say it. Say it. You say it. You say it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Josh. It's a coke. <laughs> um, they, they have that uh, newbie old hump. Yeah. It's a coke. It's a nugal hump. Okay, it gets bigger when they're into uh, season, basically, and they're looking for eggs type thing, you know, spawning. Um, we had two of them do that in the thousand, and the two of them didn't fight each other. We thought they would, and it turned out to be okay. But there is an alpha in the, the, the tank. It is a mono, and this thing is... Just a fat, just a beast of a fish. And he keeps everyone else in line as long as they don't have a problem with him. He's he's the, cool. The Kentucky Fish and Tank Rescue says, another tank aquascape. Everyone's a win. I love that. I, I just still, I remember JP's face when I'm like, JP, I can't decide. You know, let's give a tank to everybody. And he's like, he threw his car. <laughs> everyone's a winner. <laughs> That was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> He's got such a great big heart. <laughs> uh, Sammy Davis Jr. So I'm moving my 125 to a new house. It has two AC 110s on it. Been running for over a year. My fish should be good to go once the new water is up to temp, right? Uh, as long, long as that filter stays moist and, you know, you 
put it right back on the new, new yes keep, try and keep it within three days so your bacteria doesn't die and keep it moist um and then you can just sounds like it, it's the same day so it should be good the same day would be great if you can take it down and put it up and then you should be just like you never moved it you know what i'm saying it takes a few days for the bacteria to die and have drier air toward you know they're drying they're dying off and that kind of stuff so you know the same day would be great if you can do it uh cody says just curious i've seen you guys have tortoises would you guys ever consider expanding for reptile rescues i'm sure you guys get asked a lot about reptiles we have been doing reptile rescues for a few years now we rescue just about anything, anything. groundhogs we because, always just whatever. find places for that for them we to go. We find a place for them to go, yes. Until we come across a Cayman lizard, and I got the perfect tank for it. Nope, it's going to be a, <laughs> a, a fish tank. You keep saying that, and I don't see it happening. You got to start sometime, buddy. Okay, look, Josh. <laughs> you want me to start swinging on you? <laughs> Uh, Brett Raymer swore he was coming here to help me turn that into a fish tank. Yeah, I think that's lost in the pipeline. Hey, hey, he said he was coming. I'm still holding him to it. <laughs> I take people for their word. Okay, uh, are you guys going to help Brian Barcheck when he does an expansion of a zoo? We already have. We sent him with over $1,000 worth of... Uh, uh, uh saltwater uh decorations um so home to him he hasn't even started yet we've got another like fifteen hundred dollars worth of saltwater decorations we're going to send to him so we are helping him do this and then when he gets set up we can help him fill up his uh tanks so yes of course we're gonna help that's what we do uh I just lost it again. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexander says, can you put the alligator snapper in the big tank in the pool room? The one no. McCoy were in last win winter. No, that is an acrylic tank. The alligator snapper has big claws on them. It will scratch up any sort of acrylic tank. So he stays in glass tanks or the tub that we have him in now. The Kentucky Fish and Tank Rescue says. Five bucks. Five dollars says, "Is it wrong to serve sushi, fish sticks, and fish tacos at the expo? Would God or Peta throw a fit? I'll pray about it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't serve sushi at a fish convention. What is wrong with you, son? <laughs> I know God's got you by the throat right now and smacking you like this. <laughs> um. Fish sticks, yes, because we don't consider them real fish. Just like McDonald's fish sandwiches. That's not real fish. You know, so you can have fish sticks. Fish tacos, I've never had. What kind of meat do you fish. use in fish tacos? Like fish sticks. Fish sticks? Fish sticks. You like fish sticks? No, what you do. No, what you just said. <laughs> they like fish sticks. <laughs> what are you, gay fish? <laughs> I knew you were coming up with that. <laughs> so we got gabriel blackhawk says without the o2 how long can bacteria survive i always wonder big fan from brazil so that, that all depends on what kind of media you're using if you're using like ceramic rings or um any sort of submersible uh media the ceramic rings or need the oxygen right or the uh lava rock will have oxygen at every hole you know what I'm saying? And it can last a lot longer. Bioballs is like a mile and a half of surface area for bacteria. You got to stop. Um, and then, you know, if they're underwater, they'll die a lot sooner than the lava rock or the ceramics. So, you know, it depends on what you have is the problem. The best thing to do is get them, keep them moist and get them back up and working as fast as possible. Something keeps stabbing me back here. I don't like it. Okay, Chris Trapp says, do you guys remember a few years ago, a guy in Ohio and a bunch of lions and tigers and bears and let them loose? Yeah, 
that dude's an asshole. Eleven years ago. Yeah, and he caused uh, uh, the Ohio. I'm sorry. The what was the name of the city? Something. Zanesville. No, it was the something animal auction. Mount Hope. The Mount Hope Exotic Animal Auction. That's where I used to get my lions, baby bears, tigers, panthers. Uh, uh, you know, uh, my my uh, baby skunks, uh, groundhogs, hedgehogs, flying squirrels, all that from. I used to, that's all I did was I'd go to that auction every year. I'd buy about $10,000 worth of animals, and then I'd, I'd sell them during the year, you know. And my kids all got to grow up having all these crazy animals that we bottle fed, you know. And I taught them all about, you know, geniality and all that kind of stuff. Well, that guy screwed up and then he let all of his animals loose and uh, you know he ended up dying and uh you know the whole state was like freaking mm -hmm. out because lions are loose tigers are loose bears are loose and they had to catch everything and they euthanized all these animals and now they passed the law that we're not allowed to have them kind of animals here no more so i can't go and buy a black panther no more i can't go and buy a a, a you know, a, a baby bear, a baby lion cub. I can't do this. You know, the baby bear was only 500 bucks, you know, and I'd, I'd sell that for like 1500 And, you know, everybody loved the whole situation. It was a great thing back in the day. Well, things change with time. Um, and now that I'm doing this fish rescue, I realize I was actually in the wrong back then, buying babies and selling them because... I was profiteering off of the cuteness of babies, but then what do they do when they get big? You know what I'm saying? So it's the same problem I'm running across now that I'm fighting with. I I sowed my own oats there, you know. I get it, but you know, everybody learns as they grow. <clears throat> uh uh, I haven't Stephen, seen Brutus in the last few vids. Is he doing well? Brutus is doing good. Stephen Bundelik says, Big Rich Price, the Oprah of the fish world. Come on. I look like Oprah? Come on. <laughs> um, let me see here. Fish world. You get a new tank, and you get a new tank, and you get a new tank. <laughs> Stephen, I swear you're my brother, brother. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> he is just so funny. <laughs> I am so glad I met that dude. You know, he is Paco's or Paco's father. Paco is the guy we got, or the Paco we got on the twelfth floor, the 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 penthouse suite of this uh, apartment in New York City, down by uh, the Bronx area type stuff. We we got him off, we brought him home, and he's been here since. And Stephen has, you know, he sent us. Remember, I told you guys we left, we left New York, and there was this this sign, and it said, "Forget about it," and it was spelled F U G G I T. Forget about it. It was funny, and I'm like, that's the craziest sign I ever saw. He sent us three coffee mugs that say that, and I still use, I still drink coffee out of that mug today, and. Uh, you know, New York is certainly something you have to experience yourself. And then he turned me on to all these New York delicacies, you know, like, uh, what were they called? Baba something. They were the rum cakes that were filled with rum. Yeah. Baba. Rum Baba's. Rum Baba's. That was it. Oh, my God. He sent these donuts that got us drunk. <laughs> These things were so rum tasting and so full of, of alcohol. It was crazy. And it, you know, can only get them in, in Staten Island in New York. And then he sent us pizza from this place. And then he sent us, like, uh, what was that sandwich? Uh, uh, once a year we get St. Patty's. Corned beef? He sent us corned beef sandwiches from this one uh, uh, place. And, and, and you, know, you can only get it there in New York. And, oh, my God, it was good. I, I almost I almost wanted to fight my son to not let him have that. You know what I'm saying? It was too good. I wanted to keep it. It was good. <laughs> we love you, Stephen. You're my brother for sure. <laughs> Tracy Olson says, stand up against the Lacey Act. Please, the government's trying to take our animals. 
Every four That's years true. they do that. Yeah. Always stand up against the Lacey Act. They're going to win eventually. Eventually. But, you know, it doesn't bother us. It's it's for more of transporting across state lines. Well, it'll bother us a little bit as Ohio Fish Rescue because I can't go to California and come across, you know, 17 state lines and bring the fish back here. That's the problem. I have to have, like, uh, permits from every state to pass through their state. It's going to make things a lot harder for us. I'm only going to get what's bred in that state. Uh, Victor Albert says, love the channel. My flower horns laid eggs last night. Wish oh, me luck. Oh, nice. Any Good advice luck. is greatly appreciated. Um, as far as the flower horns go, I'd imagine they are in a tank by themselves. I would put some sort of uh, uh, antifungal in there. Most of the time we use met methylene blue. It'll help keep the fungus off of the eggs. Um and uh, just keep up with your water ch changes. And once they they hatch, one of two things can happen. Either your flower horns will start eating them, or they're going to chase everyone away and, from that side. And of the try tank. and kill everybody in the tank. So watch your fingers. <laughs> hey, our buddy Lee, Lee Shelton is here. Good evening, me old muckers. Uh, we got Andrew B., 10 bucks. Didn't say anything, so thank you. We got Dad Life of Two sent in five bucks. So I'd imagine. Uh, nope, never mind. I'm wrong. Okay, our buddies, their world aquatics, uh, you know, said something. And uh, uh, our buddy Joe, I talked to him today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good about job. a three foot barracuda. And uh, he hasn't given me an answer yet, but the guy's waiting for an answer. You know, it's a saltwater barracuda. It's three foot. He raised from a baby. And he's in a 1,200-gallon pond now. He's closing down his pet store. He wants to give it to us. I called Joe. I'm like, Joe, nobody else has one of these. You need to set up something. Even if it's along the infiltration of your 1,000 that's up and running now, just run it out, run it back to it, and just put this one fish in that tub. You'll be okay. You know. So Joe was supposed to get back to me, and he never did. Mark Lane, five bucks, says, joining late tonight as I had an appointment. Just wanted to say hi from Germany. Hashtag all far rocks. Hashtag team Tracy. Well, that to thank you again. And you rock. Thank you. <laughs> Stephen Bundelike says, it's about time for another specialty shipment from Brooklyn. Paco has been asking for some of those rum coquito cupcakes from the Brooklyn bakery. Is that what they were? Rum coquitos? Coquito. Coquito. <laughs> I learned so much from my brothers. <laughs> we love you, Stephen. <laughs> no. uh, Sandy Hill says, I'm new, new to the channel. I really appreciate your realness and what comes across. Honesty, much love to all. Oh, uh, thank you. See, now that's what we do. We don't do, you know, a, a production company. We don't, none of that. I video with my camera, Josh videos with his phone. And what we do for the day is what you get. You know, it's like a soap opera, a fish series soap opera. This is what happens today. Tune in tomorrow to see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> we don't we don't fake it, we don't, you know, hype it. We don't nothing. This is what's going on. Stick with us in our world, hang out with us or don't, you know? I mean, we get a lot of people that are like, you know, you know, you should do this, you should do that, and I'm not watching no more because you're doing this. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Goodbye. Leave the channel. It's okay. You know, we're going to keep doing what we do, and we're going to have our followers follow along because we're loved by thousands across the United States, and they want to know, so we show what we do every day. You know, if I had a better hook, or a better gimmick, or we could make more money, maybe I might try, but who's that? Who's that? Uh, the guy at Run, Forrest Run? What's his name? Forrest what? Forrest Gump. Forrest <laughs> Gump once said, I'm not a smart man. <laughs> but, you know, we're doing what we're doing so that you guys can follow along. And this is our endeavors. This is what we do every day. Follow along. If you don't like it, then don't follow along. If you'd like to, you know, be in our world and every Friday hang out with us and drink with us, that's cool. 
if not, then you know, go ahead and watch something else. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to convince everybody to watch us. The problem is, the more people we get to watch us, the more I can do for the fish. Is the thing because now the the rescue is almost paying for. I'm sorry, the YouTube money is almost paying for the rescue, to where we could start doing things like frivolous things like backgrounds and and you know gravel and sand and stuff like that that the fish didn't really need and we didn't spend money on because we have to spend so much on food and and, and heat and water and gas and electric and oh my goodness so we're at that point right now you know my buddy greg woodstock he wants me to hire a personal you know assistant and I can't do that because I don't make the money from YouTube yet to where it wouldn't take from the fish. Now, if I was to get another 100,000 subscribers and we're making more money, I would definitely hire a personal assistant to handle, please answer all these messages from Messenger, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, emails, from, you know, the Gmails, from, what else, TikToks, from... Facebook. Uh, Facebook, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, my God. There's just so many different, from regular emails and, and then my phone messages. Answer all that. And I can go on and do good things in the world. I can't do good things because I'm doing all of this, and it's just, oh, my God, it takes up so much of my time. So Greg's got a point. You know, he is a smart man, but I'm not making the money to where I could hire somebody like that to give me more time to go out and do collabs with other celebrities and make more money, you know? So it's we're at that point right now. We're still handling everything ourselves. We don't have a, a, a production company. We don't have a, <laughs> we don't even have a personal assistant. We don't have a email guy. We don't have, <laughs> when you call, you get me or Josh, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're the ones doing the, the the producing on the videos, the, the video in itself, the, you know, production of the video to upload it, and then all the stuff online where you have to add the ending screen, the, the, the monetization, all that. We do all that ourselves just for the videos. And then we do all the tank cleaning and tank, tank preparations and the fish feeding and, and then the moving of tanks. And then, the, oh, my God, it's just nonstop. We, we never run out of things to do. I've got a list to do that's probably about nine pages long. And two months ago, we got caught up to where we were about seven pages long, but then more stuff got added and we fell behind. <laughs> it's the, the page has grown faster than we are. Brittany Ziblis, five bucks, says, happy Fishy Friday, nice haircut, Big Rich. Aw, I mean, Brittany. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, the dynamic duo. Hashtag you are Big Barnacle Boy. Reap. You do know that, right? She said Big Hoove and Reap. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, thank you, Brittany, um, and I appreciate it. I did cut the hair because there was too much gray going on. <laughs> so I cut that, and, uh, you know, she's she's one of our mods, guys. She's She is an awesome cook. She cooks all this different stuff, and then she takes pictures of it and displays it. It makes me hungry. <laughs> you know, I cook for my people, but I just I cook to feed. You know, here's here's 20 burgers, here's 20, you know, buns cooked in, in, in you know, uh, butter. Here's, you know, the, the pickles, here's the mustard, here's the ketchup, here's the mayonnaise, here's, you know, everything, you know. Here's some, the, the uh, what do you call it, macaroni and cheese on the side. Eat up, guys. But she, she cooks and then she takes pictures and they're like professional photographer pictures. They're like, oh, my God, you are a chef, you know. <laughs> So I just don't have time in my life to do that. So Odin Grub, two bucks. You didn't say anything. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. We got Steven Bundeluck, ten bucks. Says having trouble with the sound. Have the screen up on my computer and the sound through my iPhone. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. YouTube's having all sorts of problems. YouTube tonight. is a problem. Um, you think with that much money, the they money don't they have make, their servers, you know, do you know how much they make just off of us, let alone the hundred ninety thousand other people that are, you know, videoing. 
we got one more. Nope, uh, I lied. I lost it. Find it in just a second. Keep doing what you do. You are my absolute favorite channel. I love oh, every thank you. Vi video, whether Ouch. it's Josh, Josh, Reap, or Reaper. Huh? Love it. Good. Cool. Can't even mention Big Rich. <laughs> I'm right there. I'm the, the favorite. <laughs> Have you ever kept a pike? I've always wanted to keep a pike or pickerel. Are they hard to keep? They're not hard to keep but they are a true uh, predator and whatnot so you always have to be careful with the uh, tr true uh, pit pickerels they can get pretty m massive and you know like pike like no northern pike or whatnot they you know can get several feet long and they all have teeth so impressive got, teeth we got whips world says have Kevin or Rod reached out to you to give you a time frame uh, when they got the raise back, joined in late, so you addressed this already. Sorry. Yes, it should be another month or two. They're at New York. They are setting up tanks, so they should be uh, going back home very soon. And with that, probably no more babies coming from the, the raise, unless we get lucky and something happens, you know, like the week that they leave, but not getting our ho hopes up. Tanya Dugstad, five bucks, is the best way to remove salt and hard water stains on a glass. If the on tank's a glass empty, tank. I'd say vinegar and water. If the tank's if not empty, and yeah. you just want to scrape the outside, a razor blade works great. With the, the fish water that you've got in the tank. Yep. Okay, let me go check on Tracy. I'll be right back. Uh... Have you ever considered aquaponics? As much as you oh, guys love time. fish and plants, you'd be a success at the farmer's market. We've thought about this time and time again, and we've incorporated what we want into what we call filtration 2.0, but we couldn't make it happen until it's actually warm outside. So maybe that'll happen this summer sometime, and that also involved putting big trays on top of the uh, pallet racks above the filtration system. Which is the reason we got the pallet racks. Yeah, so uh, they're supposed to be basically doubling our filtration. So the 800 gallon sock table settling chamber will then have two of those sock tables. We already have for the double the biomedia. And then once it goes out of the clean water, we'll go through big trays and basically be filled with all sorts of plants. Right now we're doing it with pothos and uh, peace lit lilies right now. But we want to start doing like vegetables and stuff like that, that we could also, you know, produce vegetables and fruits from. So that would be, be cool, but that's going to take a lot of work. You know, you got to put pipes in there and you know dri drill or do uh star foam that floats on the top and you drill little half inch holes to where the roots just stick down through and they can be fed with all the water that's passing by it'll ultimately be helping your nitrate problem with the uh, uh pot mm -hmm. and you also right. get the, the the food from it so super cool so we were going to do food that we like like strawberries food that uh would be good for the the turtles um you know stuff like that hmm. kentucky fish and tank rescue five bucks is not to be political but all youtube issues are russia's fault stinking putin <laughs> oh, but he's not trying to be political <laughs> jim sheasley five bucks hey jim what's up buddy fed some of my big guys food from uh supply they ate it an hour later they threw it all up water now cloudy did a 40 percent water change any advice? Um, I would have done a 75% what the water change. Anytime a fish throws up, tell them. Tell yeah, them they they redu they regurgitate their stomach acids, which is bad Are in for the water. fish. Very so bad for it, the fish. It's actually toxic. So you want to basically drain all that water down as much as possible. And, and do that by it. siphoning it off to the top with a bucket too, because all that stuff comes to the top and you see bubbles and oils. Get all that off the top. Take out the tank water, 75%. 
fill it up with other tank water if you have to. Um, you want to get rid of that water as soon as possible. It's got stomach acids in there, which eat away at the the gills of other fish, and then they die of, of asphyxiation. You know, they're, they're dying because they can't get oxygen. Dylan Russell, five bucks, says, any suggestions for keeping an outdoor heated pond with Mbuna? I plan on using a large metal stock tank. I live in Washington State, and the winters get cold. Oh, oh whoa, whoa. You're going to need a lot of heat. A You're lot of heat, a lot of insulation, and a lot of money. I wouldn't suggest it in Washington. That's like one of the coldest states but, here you in know, the United Ted States. you know, Ted pulled it off with an 8,000-gallon aquarium. Ted is the guy that gave us two brand new batteries at 119 dollars a piece a brand new Just you saying, know it can be done a brand new um generator that runs off of gas for five hours that he went to the store and bought for us so that his fish live okay that ain't that's that's a man you're, that spends listen you're missing listen the point. that's the man that spends this on just taking the fish home imagine what he spent on his own fish trying to keep them alive in washington state outdoors but did you know he do it he did do it until his tank cracked and then he couldn't do it no more okay we took all 19 of his huge fish we made it back to ohio didn't lose any and we still have some of those fish now today you know but we're talking a very wealthy man that was spending no dollar mattered he spent whatever for his fish and he could not do it for a long time i'm telling you it's not a good thing to do an outdoor do it in your basement and you at least keep your basement at 60 65 because your house is at 70. okay put down insulation under your your pool put insulation against the walls and keep your pool water at like 70 75 and you're barely spending anything and you can keep the same fish inside in your basement don't do it outdoors not in Washington. That's like saying, hey, I'm in Canada. <laughs> it, it gets kind of cold here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so pe people with the uh, super chat issues, putting in five bucks, being charged 120. Not sure what's going on with uh, YouTube tonight, but I have faith that they will fix it and you won't be charged if, if that, somebody but overcharged if, you let us know we'll give you the money back but right. um you can also dispute it with your yes. card company and uh we will be witness to, to that but i have faith that youtube will fix their their problems tonight that they can easily see what was super chatted and what was you know charged so hope that does not uh happen for everyone that sucks Uh, has anyone tried to use tankless water heater as a heater on a very large tank? We have one in our house, and we use that now as the water going in. I mean, it's possible it would be highly uh, inefficient for heating a fish tank. Uh, you think? You would, yes. Why? Because you're heating the tank with a tankless hot water heater using all this gas to he heat it for you can get a small um they have camping gasless or gas hot water heaters and you, you hook up to a propane tank and it lasts you know like six days or something and you can have constant showers from it or you're not going to run 90 degrees you run you know 82 degrees and maybe last you 20 days on 30 dollars of propane you know a, a large tank's going to dissipate heat at a rapid depending rate depending on how little they have it you know insulated the more insulation the better of course a better option would to be to go with a tank hot water heater use a roll of pex and put that in your sump this roll will basically emulate heat into the the, the water and it's e easier you spend less uh gas trying to heat that hot water in the closed cycle tank than trying to heat the wa water itself but that's just my two cents oh and back to the people that had problems with the uh super chats overcharging them call us we'll work with you and give you whatever receipt you need and this and that 
<sighs> Here, Josh, maybe you should read this one. There you go. <laughs> oh, yes, I, 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 I know this all too much. Scott Morrison said, I'm sorry, everyone. My dad decided to get drunk again. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Why? Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> hmm. Uh, Lenny K says, I use a floating livestock heater on my koi pond in the win winter. Keeps the waterfall going. It keeps it. Like a champ. But it keeps it just barely above freezing so that you have a hole around your heater and the gases can exchange and not kill the koi. It will not keep it warm for a moon or a peacocks. You know what I'm saying? They need to be 70, 80 degrees. You're not going to have that with a, a heater like that. Um, you guys got any more questions? I can't keep scrolling up to find them. Just post them again, and I'll re read them at, at the bottom. If we haven't answered your question, post it again, please. Mark Goss says, Josh, can you say what's up, Sunda? What's that? There you go. They want to shut shut up. Mark said, Goss says, what's up, Sunda? He said, Josh, can you say, what up, Sunda? Okay, then you did it. <laughs> <laughs> A heat exchanger plumbed into the hot water heater, that would work. Hmm. Yes, it would. Um, Michael Brandon says... <laughs> no, I like this one. El, El Gal, which I, I swore I'd call him Igor from now on, says, looks like Josh is still using his weight sets as decorations. <laughs> still probably outlived a lot, <laughs> lot of you guys. <laughs> no, but that's Same. funny. That's funny. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. All right. Um, need more questions in the chat, guys. We're just uh sitting dormant here. AZ Fish Room says, How's the house coming along? What are you working on now? Um the baby room is pretty much done. I got the second layer of paint on it, so Brittany's taking over and doing now, the mural on both of the walls. I saw the video with that. And it looked like you painted on all these different things. It, was that from the light? That's the light effect. So you should have shut the light off to show us, you know what I'm saying, and had a flashlight going, because it looked like you guys did an awesome job painting. But I did. But stop it. It comes with the, the color and the, the, the light. It took us three weeks to pick out that color. Went to five different okay, stores. Okay, but does it do that when the light's off? It looks like you have a bunch of lines and, uh, you know, the water depth. You can see it, you know. That's the light effect on the, the, the wall. So when you shut that off, it's all blue on the wall? Mm -hmm. Okay, because what we were seeing, it looked like. But even in the daytime when the sun's shining through, it still refracts off the light and shines on the wall. You're yeah, never, that's pretty neat. You're never in the room without the light on. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. Kind of don't know where you're going with that one. <laughs> it looks pretty neat. Okay, I didn't know if you if that was the effect from the light or if you yes. painted that on the wall. You, you can just go ahead and say it. I'm pretty awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No, not. I thought you guys did some sort of padding thing with the with the uh, paint, and it made it look that way. You know what I'm saying? It looked really, really good. Like you were underwater. You know, it was awesome looking. We have uh, sort of finished that uh, question, so we're working on the ba the baby room and uh, trying to set set up a poker room next. That's about it. And we got Brittany Ziblis, five bucks. Says Josh, will we get a baby name reveal before the baby arrives or after? Have you and Brittany eliminated any of the three you liked? Hashtag baby. Um, as soon as we, we know, we'll definitely let you, you guys know. Um, I think we're, we, we still have the three that we picked out, but I think we're 
coming down to a time that we might be able to eliminate some, but we'll let, let you know as we find What's out. What's the three you got worked out? We got Isabella, Emma, and McKenna. Okay, Isabella, Emma, McKenna. Mm -hmm. I like Isabella and Emma out of those two. They seem more righteous, more proper, you know what I'm saying? But Ken, it seems like, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> we'll see. We got Cherry T, eight bucks, says, love your channel. Keep up the good work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So as uh, people keep mentioning the light effect on, on the paint, they look good. As we get more updates on the ba baby room, I'll definitely add it as a little clip in the, the video and whatnot. So what about one update. of those? One of those things at nighttime, after the light effect is over with, you put the baby asleep, and at nighttime it has the... the uh, so thanks to our awesome people, it was actually sent from the rep registry, and it, it has the sounds of the ocean, and it actually projects waves all over the wall, and it looks pretty, pretty sweet. But I'm saying the stars of the nighttime, like uh, you go to, what's that called? And you go to the planetarium, and it just has it displayed all over your whole ceiling we were doing a planetarium theme that, no no yeah. you have the sea theme but at That's nighttime you can turn that on and it has the, the all the stars and then the astrological but stars if you're under the sea you can't see the stars Man, i'm gonna <laughs> smack you <laughs> uh, uh mark lane 20 bucks says uh as was said on 501c3 regarding amazon smile not working in europe Talked to a friend here in Germany, and he said you should wor worldwide. Tried and failed here. Uh, order on your wish list, and I couldn't. Hashtag greetings from Germany. Aww. Hashtag Team Tracy. Well, thank you. Thank you for trying. I appreciate that. So, so there, there's uh, other people who said that they've had tr trouble, and I guess there's some sort of... Uh, uh, hassle when it comes to the uh, converting the currency for a in Amazon, but I know people have w worked through it. M maybe those people can give a helping hand. But yes, thanks for trying. There's another one for you. My water company sent a letter saying they are flushing the pipes for 10 days. Would you skip water changes during that time? So oh, being a city worker usually what happens when they flush the the, the pipes they're going to basically go go to your local hydrants and they're going to open a di different one for about two three hours possibly four and, just and they're going to go run. down the the, the the system and they're going to let let it run what that's going to do is dislodge a bunch of de debris and all mud these things that have been tuberculated on the yeah. inside of the pipe not mud but oh no i saw where they've opened up a, a, a fire hydrant and it came out with bleh, 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 bleh. and then all of a sudden a speck of mud about you know six foot long and then water you know it was just sludge at the bottom and it wasn't letting the water out and that then all of a sudden it opened up san sanitet to dairy line that sure that's you know stuff from from the streets it's not sewage water but it's not potable if it's potable water, then you're only going to get like mineral deposits, rust, met metal stuff so like that. So orange water. Yes. Um, but then after that, once you get the water back on, now the water's rushing the other way, and it's going to knock off stuff on the inside of your your. your home. Let your water run for a while. If if you have to do a wa water change, it's it's not going to be bad. But what I would do is let your wa water run for you know probably five minutes. Let them pipes flush out, and then you you can take a cup of water, uh, put it in some sort of like a white cup or a white dish. If you put the water in there and it's clear, you're good. If it has brown or you know y yellow to it, just I'd wait. So hopefully that helped. Um, uh, where was I at? Yeah. That one? Uh, Flood City Fish Keeper. I asked last week about my red tail shovel nose with Slim Bladder. Been doing the Epsom Salt bath. Did you say Flood City Fish Keeper? Yeah. His name is Devil's Little Girl 07. Oh, I read the one beneath it. I saw I had a whole oh, fish Oh, okay. 
Uh, said he's been doing the Epsom salt bath as recommended. Still not improving. Time for a syringe? Question mark. Watch uh, necropsy videos for location. Um, if it's not improving with that, it might be back to Dario. I would try treating. See, it you with still read the bacteria. second one. You didn't read the first one. Because I'm not done answering the question. Okay. So I'm not done. Yeah. So Jeez, once I'm done, ahead, the next ahead, one. That's how, that's how this works. But that one was first. Well, it, I didn't see that one first. But yeah, I would try the antibiotics, and then last resort is the, the syringe, because you could... You last know, resort. Something. Last, last resort. Uh, even me and Josh, out of the, what, six or seven times we've done it, we've been four of them yeah. was good, three of them was bad. You're cutting through stuff you don't know. You don't see. You don't have a x-ray machine there. You don't know where the... the body parts are and you, you're trying to poke this fish to get into the clearness and the smaller the needle the better but we've had it work and we've had them die so um so we got devil's little girl how many inches long are the giraffe cichlids in the bellagio for those that don't know they are giraffe cichlids they're also referring to the venustus the big yellow guy right there and they are about 10 11 inches the larger one the smaller one's about set seven to eight uh just read that one uh carling perkins says how's baby the rtc hybrid from toledo uh we actually just moved him out to the uh M monster pond so the last video you've seen us moving stuff in, in there that was it so, okay. Let's read this one. Hey, Big R, remember you're the one strange enough to wear sunglasses in indoors? Now, guys, do you know why I do this? Okay. I was a bouncer for 18 years. I laid carpet during the day, and I bounced at nighttime. I played in the band. I went to all these different shows. Here's the thing. I'm blind in this eye. Not totally, but like 85, 90% blind. Like on a bright, sunny day, I can see, if it's white outside, I can see a dark car going by with this eye, okay? During the daytime, I can keep my eyes tracking on people. But at nighttime, which in here, it's dark. You don't think so because you see these two lights pointing at us. Let me shut these lights off real quick. It's dark in here, okay? It's pitch black, it's nighttime. So, that's that's just a lighting effect. Blinding me. I know. So, right now, it's dark for me. So, I don't want, you know, to be talking to you guys, and then you see this eye, once my eyes open up, you see this eye looking at you, and this eye looking off to Saturn, okay? Which, it happens at nighttime. So... I wear these glasses, and then you people never have to deal with that. Isn't it weird when you're talking to somebody, he's got some eye looking off to Saturn? I don't want to put you people through that, okay? So this works for me so that you don't, you people don't have to go through that. That's it. And then it, during the daytime, all the time I never wear glasses because I can keep my eye tracking on the other eye. But at nighttime, it's hard. So, you know, that's just my way of making things easier for you guys. Otherwise, you guys are like, is he talking to me? <laughs> I'm over here. Over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, we got Colin Perkins donated two bucks for the question I already answered. So, thank you. Uh, that's a sidebar. People are asking about how big were the Bellagio fish in the background when you first put them in there. Um, they were, you know, Kagaman size. A lot of them were rescues that we just threw in. So some of them were full grown. Some were, you know, smaller, one to two inches. And a lot of them have bred in there. Ah, what was that? That is your powder that did not mix with the water. Yuck. <laughs> Those chunkies on my tongue. When I drank, it was horrible. Felt like a bug or something. 
Mm. Okay. Uh, Harry Banana says Big Rich bounces off walls nowadays. Truly, I do not. But I tell you what, I don't feel nothing in this right arm, and this whole right arm is the club now. So, you know, I'm just saying, don't mess with me nowadays. <laughs> I have less to live for. You know, take me to jail. I don't care. He shouldn't have mouthed off to me. I'll go to jail for a couple of days for that. That's all right. <laughs> I get it. I get to sleep. I get. I get to sleep, twenty four hours a day in jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't tempt me. <laughs> right. We're gonna pretend you didn't sit through that. Move on to the next one. Bites the sun. <laughs> so no one's feeling his drinks over there. I am catching yeah. a hell of a good buzz. Woo, 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 woo. Who's that that said that? I think it, it was Beyonce. Give him myself. Feeling myself. No, she said something like, um, back off of me. You know, she was singing and and who was it that, that tried touching her? And she, she put in the lyrics as she backed off from him. I forget who it was. Yeah, I can't help you on that front, buddy. So uh 24 minutes left. Get your fishy questions in the chat. And I get some, so uh post them again. I had an eye patch and I, I refused to wear it. Okay. I'd be wearing this and be like, ah, yeah, how you do it. <laughs> I, I, I don't wear the eye patch. I can still see a little bit during the day. So I wear this at night and then you guys don't have to deal with it, right? Uh, Cryptic Chaos says flower horn set up bear tank or scaping. That is totally up to, to do you. I mean, you can run them bear tank and they would most definitely love escapes tank more. Harry okay. Banana says, Don't mess with the big man. I'm a black belt at no can do. At no can do. That's hilarious. <laughs> Tom Hall's asking how big is Lavaca? Um, she's about 20 yeah, inches. Yeah, I'd now. say maybe 21. She's pretty big. She's pretty <laughs> thick. She is as big around as a football, though. I will give her that. Uh, how come northern pike or muskie can't be kept in kept? Tidivity. They most certainly can. But it's a cold water situation. Yeah. I mean, if we had one in the pond, he would survive. They most definitely can survive in warmer cl climate. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're just natural predators. Okay. Raheem says, Big Rich, where are your right hand and left hand, man? Um, Hoover and Reaper. They are actually on a rescue right now. They're picking up two 75 gallon tanks full of discus a 65 gallon tank and a 40 gallon bow front and they're bringing them all here the discus are going into our tanks for sure she she cared about her discus and i told her we would keep them here so boom they're going into our tanks so they are on their way back from that and then tomorrow morning we're leaving here at 10 o'clock josh is going uh reaper's going uh, who else? Uh, Joe Fry uh, uh, or Joe Burns? Which one? Burns. Burns. Uh, there's there's like eight people going tomorrow morning to go pick up these two 10-gallon or 10-foot-long tanks. Why's Reaper going? To video. You can't? I'm going to be fit for filming. I told him to video behind the scenes. Whenever you're carrying, he can video, which means you won't have his you know, video on your, your video. Because as long as you're carrying, you're not videoing, he can video. Mm. Yes, it's a behind the scenes thing. If you like today's video and saw Josh carrying, log on to Reaper's video and see the behind the scenes of the same thing, different perspective. I just need able bodies who can lift. We've got a bunch coming tomorrow. Mm, what size tank for six to eight white skirt tetras? Um, 
I would say 40 gallon yeah. would be good. I was going to say at least the 35, so yeah, that's good. Uh, kind of, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a question, it wasn't. Are there any freshwater fish still on your wish list to keep? Yeah, Armanus and JTF. We want a bunch of both. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, could you divide Lavaca's tank in half and add the other one? Yes, we can do that, but the, here's the problem. If for ever any reason that divider fails, one of the fish kills the other fish. We can't have that, okay? So we can't take that chance. Uh, does the Tesla shock affect the bacteria in the water? No, it does not. But that was a good question. Oh, my God. Harry Banana. USOB. He says, Big Rich has teach Reaper well. If there's any heavy lifting to do, grab the camera and video it. I love it. <laughs> That's not how I work. <laughs> Stop it, Harry Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Aponte says, what is brackish wa water? Brackish water is basically a salinity in between salt and fresh. So, you know, fresh wa water can sometimes live in brackish. Salt can sometimes live in brackish. Like the perfect species to describe a brackish water is uh, datinoid or monos. There's certain puffers that can only be in brackish wa water. So, you know, say if... Uh, so say th this is the salinity scale. If salt water's up here, fresh water's down here at zero, when we treat our fresh water tank for, uh, with salt, we bring our salinity up to about here. Brackish water might be from this scale up to here, that small window. So hope that helps. I mean, I could, could have got into using nut, no numbers on a salinity scale, but I didn't want, want to you know, overwhelm you with a bunch of useless numbers if you have questions you can always message uh why Samantha norland says big rich i think you've lost weight it looks like it kamantha thank you for lying to me i love you to death <laughs> okay i have not lost weight i have gained weight i i am watching tracy 16 hours a night seven days a week oh, i'm sorry six days a week on the seventh day i have to watch her 24 hours a night so I have gained weight because I have not left her side. I do not walk around the block. I do not get the exercise I need. And I'm always hungry because I'm always bored. You know what I'm saying? So I am sorry, but, you know, I do need to lose weight. And I, I, I need help. Uh, why are Tesla ships in, in a row and... Uh, he looked great doing figure. He eight hides condom. behind him. Yep, that's the main reason. He'll push him to the front and he'll hide behind him. So we're constantly pushing that decoration back. Uh, got another one here. Uh, never mind. I lost it. Okay, Eric Banana says I've seen after that saltwater lifting. You're heavy breathing like Pavarotti on a cake shop. Okay, here's the thing. I don't get much exercise no more, and I do eat a lot now because I'm home with Tracy for a year and a half. The problem is I pick that tank up because I know I can lift it, and I move it, and I move it over. The camera is right here in my pocket, so it hears everything. Normally, it used to be on my camera, and it'd be out here, and you didn't hear it. You're hearing everything because the camera mic is right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's not, things haven't gotten worse. I do need to lose weight. I do want to lose weight. But, you know, right now, I'm, I'm caring about Tracy, and, you know, I forgot my life because 
I have no wife. I work to take care of Tracy and this house and everything else. You know what I'm saying? I gave up my life for that. Uh, Stuart Barash, is any hint at breeding African butterflies? I don't because I've never bred them before. So, sorry if someone else can help in the chat or on the Facebook page. I'm sure they would love to help you. Hmm. Any more questions? Go ahead and put them in the chat, guys. Um... <clears throat> so, um, plans for this week weekend, I, I guess. Go, going to get these tanks, I, I guess. That's something. Um, You're going in the morning to get these two tanks. You're going to have to put three 2x4s down, the tank, three 2x4s on top of it, the other tank, and then strap them down. I know what I'm doing. You know what you're I'm doing? I'm just saying that's what you need to do. And then go up there. But here's the problem. He has a walkout in a basement where you can grab the tanks off of the, what do you want to call them? Uh, pallet rack. Pallet racks from Home Depot. You, you take them out of there and you walk them out the backyard. He cannot have the van in the backyard. You have to walk out the backyard up the hill to the van. That's, there's going to be the hardest you know, spot. And then bring them home to us. And then we will figure out a way to make it awesome for you guys to come by. <laughs> uh, have you ever been to that fish place? The biggest aquarium store in the world, Lancaster, PA. Have not. Have ordered through them on the, uh, you know, the, the, the book that they send out. Their flyer, I guess. But yeah, I have ordered from them. They are very well known. Mm. Are we any closer to the mermaid? Yes. We have taken a lot of mermaid videos, and they're in my background as just like shots. We have mermaid videos. We have not done the mermaid videos together with the three of us and that kind of stuff. I'm still trying to talk his brother into coming in as uh, Aquaman. I do have... Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, what's his name? Under the sea, the crab. The crab? Yeah, what's his name? Donna. Huh? Donna. Whatever his name is, I've got Hoover, you know, believed into singing this for us. So Hoover's going to sing the under the sea crab part for us. That's going to be great. <laughs> Alexandra Stangl, 20 bucks, says, for my OFR fishy friends. Aw, thank you. His name's Sebastian. Thank you, Sebastian. No, the, Wait. the crab's name is Sebastian. Oh, I was going to say, it's Alexander. <laughs> Alexandra. Thank you, Alexandra Strangle. I appreciate that. And then Stangle. Oh, my God, you're killing me. You see it straight, buddy? <laughs> Stangle, you were right. Yeah. Oh my God! Thank you, Alexander Stangle. Um, as far as Hoover's concerned, <laughs> he's wrong. <laughs> what are we going to say to him? I have no idea what you want to say to Hoover. I have no idea where, where your mind's at right now, but <laughs> all right. Um, apologies, I've already answered. One baby on the way. Any plans for more? Um, of yeah, course. I would prefer two. I wanted one of each. So, I'm gonna try so you got to try for three to get one of each. Maybe four to get one of each. You have two girls, three girls. Oh, shit. You got to try for four. I'm going to hope that the next <laughs> one's a boy and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it never works that way, son. We'll see. No, no. Me and Tracy thought you were going to be a girl. We loved you like a girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you need a timeout. I need a timeout. That's what you need. Loved him just like any girl that we, we would have had. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> um, I do need another set. Thank you, uh, 
Oh, so it's a god. Kip take chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Davis, have you seen any breeding activity in the monster pond? We have on the, the, the rays. They've actually been overly aggressively going after the females, and it's been causing problems. Yes. So we've had to remove a few of the, the rays on uh, concern that... Oh, they were going to die. They were so tore up. It was terrible. Brittany Ziblis, five bucks, says, Big Rich wants all the grandkids. Have you thought of a grandpa name? Yeah, pop pop. I'm not pop pop. <laughs> Papa. I am not Papa. I am not pop pop. <laughs> they might call you pee pee because they can't pronounce. I'm not it. pee pee for sure. <laughs> we got Kevin, Kevin Hernandez. Twenty bucks says this donation is to get Big Rich some melatonin. Get this man some sleep. <laughs> Love this guy. What's his name? Kevin. Kevin Hernandez. I love you. I love you. This donation to get Big Rich some melatonin. Get this man some sleep. I love you. <laughs> He's sexy. <laughs> uh, what's the big plans for the outside pond this summer? Our biggest plans is to have Josh go in there and then put down the, the the stones that spell out Tracy's name and then, you know, do all that. That'll probably be done while Greg's here because the pond will already be drained some. Okay. I'm good with that. <laughs> Tracy Olsen says, pop ball. Hashtag PP. <laughs> PP, No. <laughs> People are saying absolutely saying, not. People Kathy, er, and Grampy. Kabo, you saw. <laughs> uh, uh oh. People are saying you're cut, cut off, Rich. I'm cut off? <laughs> Sleepy Rich. Come on now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, you guys got eight mi minutes. Go ahead and get some questions in before we sign off here tonight. Uh, hmm. Okay. Still going on about the grandpa name. El Real G Punts. There you go, Josh. Just read that. Yeah, it's <laughs> a big rich feeling not nice tonight. Much love. Have fun, guys. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Yeah, I think so someone made made their drinks a little stronger tonight. Who? You. What are you talking about? You're feeling yourself. Here. Lift up this arm. No. <laughs> get out of here. Let me get in there. Get out of here. You're fired. Well, you're a big wussy. You're fired. <laughs> oh. All right. Alexandria says, Josh, I think it's time to end this Fishy Friday. Big Rich needs a timeout. I <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> All right. With that punch, I think we're, we're done. There's no questions ro rolling in. You oh, yeah. They're all fun. questions. They're all questions rolling had in. enough fun. You got, guys were, were great. I love you all. I love you guys. Smell uh -oh. my fingers. <laughs> Josh cut PP off. Yes, I'm gonna cut PP off here tonight. We will see you guys. Why again. not be known as PP? Cause you're pop pop pat paw PP <laughs> grandpappy. All right, we will see you guys next. Love week. you guys. Love you guys. And as always, stay, stay fishy, fishy, my, my friends. friends.